block in the main artery and we'll balloon dilate it and see the response. Baby K came to me just about a few days back and uh, it's a very unusual history. She's nine years old and uh, she had headache for which she went to the pediatrician. Pediatrician referred her for eye checkup that, you know, headache common cause is eye, the number has increased or is present. And she's otherwise a completely normal child running around, playing, going to school, doing everything normally, but the head headache won't resolve. So um, when the eye checkup was done, it was normal and at the eye center, blood pressure was taken in the upper extremity and it came out to be 160 over 110, which is very high and they were referred for an echocardiogram where a diagnosis of coarctation was made. All this happened in the last five days of this child's life and then they got in touch with me and I confirmed the diagnosis. I told them that we'll do ballooning of the coarctation and uh, we spoke to the family. The family took 24 hours to get convinced that it needs to be done, got their TPN process and went ahead with the procedure. Um, native coarctation ballooning, especially when it is so very narrow that the upper body blood pressures are 160, lower body blood pressures are less than 100. We know that uh, it is a critical ballooning and uh, as you would see in some of the pictures, it came down to as narrow as about 3-4 millimeters. We ballooned it in a very graduated fashion initially uh, with a diameter of 6, 8, 10 and then finally a 12 balloon dilated and that resulted in the resolution of the waist of the balloon and the pressures finally in the upper and lower half of the body were almost equal with a difference of less than 5 which is completely acceptable and I anticipate a completely normal uh, process of recovery and further lifestyle for this child. Maybe the child does require a stent placement in the future, as many coarctations do, but that needs to be seen. So we're just crossing the blocking here. Blockage, we've crossed it. Pause. And here we are doing the first injection. This is the obstruction here, which we will see better in the next injection right here and then we balloon it multiple times that's the balloon inflating across repeat inflation across full inflation completely here and the last inflation after this. The narrowing will be seen. This is where the narrowing was and that's going away. And the last injection shows very nice. Thank you very much.